Welcome to Leap Weekly, where we talk about economic development news and initiatives, projects in Ingham County, Clinton County, Eaton County, Greater Lansing, Michigan. My name is Bob Trezise, and I'm president and CEO of Lansing Economic Area Partnership. Well, let's get right to the big news of the week, which happens to be a little bit of a football game that's going to be played tomorrow between Michigan State University and U of M down in Ann Arbor. And, you know, here's a different angle on it. What a great moment it is for the state of Michigan, where we have have two world-renowned powerhouse universities uh, such a, with such academic achievement and with uh, incredible sports achievement. To have two high-level football programs playing against one another is just an amazing uh, moment again for the state of Michigan. You know what? I can't do it. Let's have that football, Sarah. You know what? Michigan State is really going to take it to U of M. Let's get right to it. How dare they paint Michigan State's Irvin Magic Johnson statue. You have gone too far down there at U of M. I guarantee, here goes, a Michigan State victory. 24-23 over those guys down at U of M. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's have a lot of fun in the state of Michigan. A big congratulations to Peckham and to Mitch Tomlinson. Uh, this is a fantastic manufacturer, a very unique manufacturer in the United States. This is a manufacturer headquartered here in Lansing, although they have operations around the state of Michigan. Um, but this is a, a big employer of disabled people, uh, working with disabled people, assimilating them into the economy, into the community, training, um, and making a comfortable, safe workplace uh, for them. It's a, just a, an unbelievable mission. And, and a fantastic quality manufacturer and they had an amazing um, annual community partnership diversity forum this week that was open to the public of course uh, for their employees as well and they brought in a national speaker Masoon Zayed who's a well-known comedian and she's a uh, Arab um, Muslim and uh, did a terrific job of teaching us through comedy and through uh, such um, amazing stories uh, from her life about what it's like to have cerebral palsy in this case. And she, um, it was so enlightening uh, and reminded all of us how important the disabled community is to us, how capable, reliable uh, that they are, and how really interestingly absent uh, that they are from the media, from entertainment circles. And I, I hadn't thought about it, but it struck me of course, like everybody else in the room, is absolutely true. Um, so not only are disabled folks our neighbors and our friends, our family members, um, but they're excellent workers, employees, uh, leaders in our community, and, um, and yet they're totally absent from, almost totally absent from our entertainment circles, which is an important way for all of us to become more comfortable with one another and learn from one another. So an excellent presentation, a reminder about the importance and quality and reliability, re reliability of um, our disabled uh, friends and neighbors um, in the Lansing area and throughout. Congratulations to Peckham and much Mitch Tomlinson. Not only is Peckham that I just spoke of a member of LEAP, but DTN is a member of LEAP too. They are one of our greatest uh, developers here in the Lansing area. They're doing so many projects. They have an amazing, fantastic looking apartment building right now that is just, I think, being completed or is completed at Eastwood Town Center in Lansing Township. I drove by there last week. It absolutely looks beautiful out there so congratulations to those guys on that building but this week a big congratulations on them starting their third phase of the West Village project in on Grand River in downtown East Lansing this third phase is called the 300 grand and it's 6,500 square feet of retail 39 apartment units 9.5 million dollar project with the brownfield in place Estimated $1,700 to $1,800 rent a month. Um, they have below uh, gr ground parking. But it is going to be a fantastic project, a great addition to the community and neighborhood of East Lansing. Congratulations to Mayor Triplett and to the East Lansing community once again for landing another significant project, um, adding to people and fun and quality and tax revenue uh, to the city of East Lansing and thus to our entire region. So congratulations to our great partners. Partners DTN. Next week is going to be a lot of fun uh, here at LEAP. Um, October 21st is going to be a great day. We're going to kind of have a grand reopening, if you will, of the runway, which is our fashion incubator in the Naps building in downtown Lansing. LEAP, uh, Mayor Bonero, the Lansing Economic Development Corporation have all partnered and worked together. LEAP has a management contract with the city of Lansing, so we've been managing the runway 
And uh, we've learned a lot over the last year. We've put together a lot of new ideas, kind of reshaped um, the mission and, and the tenants and the resources that are going to be in um, the runway. There's a lot of surprises that will be unveiled on Wednesday, how it's being reshaped, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Four o'clock, the public is welcome. Come on down. It's going to be a great event. There will be food and drink as well, so it should be a really good time. I want to congratulate AntiBio, which is a really nice high-tech um, lab uh, which does diagnostic work with milk and dairy products. Uh, we've worked with them on and off over uh, a number of years here, and they have located um, in a new place here in the greater Lansing area, in this case in the Grand Ledge Industrial Park, and they're still working on getting a Public Act 198 incentive in place. They've got a great location. We're happy for the region that this is going to be a place for these guys to grow. They've rebranded branded their name called North Star now. Um, so it's a new location, a new brand name. Um, it's going to allow them to do even greater global work, important high-tech uh, work in their diagnostic work. They're going to add 10 employees. So we want to say congratulations to them and to gra congratulations to Grand Ledge. And we got a really fun little story here at the end. I want to congratulate Joe and Melissa Robido. A few years ago, they went through our um, hatching event, which is our business pitch competition. They won. Their pitch was for a poochie bowl, which was a narrow uh, drinking water bowl for dogs so that dogs' ears wouldn't be um, hanging in water and getting infected. A very simple idea, but a great one because now it's being mass produced, manufactured here in the Lansing area. It's being distributed, sold in the thousands every month. Um, around the world and they have a nice storefront by the way and they added a mini maker space um, into this as well in the Meridian Mall and it's been 900 square feet today they're going to celebrate expanding to 4,000 square feet in this retail office space area it's just a really nice story um, they also won our pitching event for mini maker a lot of people were involved in helping them succeed, but Leap was at the forefront. And I just want to say congratulations to Melissa and Joe Robito once again for being great friends. Um, what a great success story. It really shows um, what our uh, entrepreneurial culture here at Leap and Spartan Innovations and Lansing Community College and what all of us can do together um, uh, uh, when we help support one another in this new entrepreneurial culture that we are definitely creating here in the Lansing area. That's it, everybody. Obviously, go state.